Hi there, in the following video I'll answer the June 2009 question 8 uh, core 4 OCR paper uh, on implicit differentiation. Okay, So let's take a, a look straight away at this question. Question 8 gives you uh, a function defined implicitly and it asks you to show what dy over dx is. Okay, let's start straight away and do our usual. Okay, I'm going to differentiate everything with respect to x. So I'm going to tell the examiner what I'm doing. I'm differentiating with respect to x. I'm going to do each term uh, separately. So d by dx of 14x squared, you should know, is 28x. Okay, you multiply by the power, 14 times 2 is 28, and you reduce the power by 1. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to do the differential. Okay, I'm just going to do it of 7xy for now. Okay, I'm going to treat this as a product, okay, where u is 7x, and my v is going to be y. So using the product rule, if I try and differentiate uv, it's uv dash plus vu dash, okay? So, the diff, um, you take your u, which is 7x, okay, and you multiply it by the differential of what, uh, v, uh, and the d by dx of y is simply dy by dx, okay? Plus v, which is y, and the differential of 7x, which is 7. I'm going to put that 7 in front. Okay, so... That is simply equal to 7x dy by dx plus 7y. And the last one, we're going to differentiate uh, with respect to x, y squared. Okay, and how you do this, you differentiate with, with respect to y, y squared, and you post multiply to adjust by dy by dx. And the answer to that is 2y dy by dx because the differential with respect to y of y squared is 2y and you have your dy by dx that stays there. Okay, let's combine everything then. Um, obviously the differential of 2 is 0. So if I combine all this, the differential of this was 28x, okay, then I was subtracting the differential of this, so I subtract all of this, so I'm going to subtract 7x dy by dx and I'm also going to subtract 7y. Then I'm going to add the differential of y squared, which I said was 2y dy by dx. And that is all equal to 0. OK, how many dy by dx's do I have? Well, I have 2y minus 7x of them. 2y minus 7x. Really, I'm factorising the dy by dx here. And what's that equal to? Well, if I was to add 7y to both sides, it would remove this. And if I was to subtract 28x from both sides, it would remove that. And I would get 7y minus 28x. And lastly then, so dy by dx is uh, 7y minus 28x, all divided by 2y minus 7x. And you can... Uh, uh, change the order around of top and bottom if uh, to show in the question and you'll get the same thing. That's 28x minus 7y all over 7x minus 2y and we've done what's asked of us in the question. Part 2 of the same question tells us that there are points on the curve L and M um, that have x coordinate 1. The tangents to these curves meet at N, find the coordinates of N. So straight away, when I, when I see this, I say to myself, OK, well, I know the x-coordinate of L and M is 1. I should find out the y-coordinate. So when x is 1, OK, substituting that into the curve, OK, we would get 14 times 1 squared minus 7, 1, y plus y squared equals 2. OK, tidying that up, that's 14 minus 7y plus y squared equals 2. Now I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides 
and I'm going to reorder this so the y squared is first, then the uh, minus 7y, then the number. So doing that all in one move, y squared minus 7y, and it would be plus 12 is equal to 0. Factorize two numbers that multiply to positive 12 and add to minus uh, negative 7. That would be y minus 3, y minus 4 is 0. So we therefore know from this that y is equal to 3 or y equals 4. So our coordinates, L and M, doesn't matter what you call them. Let's say L, for argument's sake, is the coordinate x is 1, y is 3, and M is the coordinate x is 1, y is 4. OK, we had better, if we want uh, to work out where the tangents of these meet, we need the equations of those tangents, OK? So, I had better find the gradient of the tangent at the coordinate x is 1. So, let's work out dy by dx, OK? When x is equal to 1, OK? And at one of those, at L, let's say, uh, y would be equal to 3, so I'm going to say at L, this is true. OK, substitute back into our first part. It'd be 28 times 1, OK, minus 7 times 3, all divided by uh, 7 times 1, minus 2 times 3. And if you work that out, 28 minus 21 is 7, uh, and 7 minus 6 is 1, so this is just the answer, 7. OK, I'm just going to take a, a different coloured pen here. Let's do at n, dy by dx, when x is 1 and y is 4, OK, that's going to be equal to 28 times 1 minus 7 uh, times 4, all divided by 7 times 1 minus 2 times 4. Well, you'll notice here the top is 28 minus 28, so dy by dx at that point is equal to 0. OK, well, what's the equations of each of these lines? Well, remember, an equation of a line is of the form y equals mx plus c. Now, this is telling me that the tangent at this point, is, the gradient of the tangent is 0, OK? Uh, and I know that um, this line must go through the coordinate uh, 4. So, su subbing those in, I get that the equation of this line must be y equals 4. OK, if m is 0, OK, and I stick in uh, the coordinate, I must get that c is 4 by default. So, y is equal to 4. This one, OK, um, let's use a different equation of line. Let's use the y minus y1 is equal to gradient x minus x1. OK, so we know the coordinate here. We know that y minus 3 must equal 7 x minus 1. And rearranging that, uh, expanding brackets, tidying it all up in one move, y is equal to, this would be 7 x minus 7, then add 3 to both sides, so it would be 7 x uh, minus 4. OK, now, going back to the question, it was asking us when the tangents meet. OK, they meet at this coordinate uh, n. So we're trying to solve the two simultaneous equations. I'll change my pen again. y is equal to 7x minus 4, equation 1, and y is equal to 4, equation 2. Well, where do they meet? Substitute 4 in for y here. So I would get 4 is equal to 7x minus 4. And rearranging, adding 4 to both sides and dividing by 7, x must be 7 uh, sorry, 8 divided by 7. So the coordinates of n are x is 8 over 7 and y is 4. OK, I hope you found that, that useful in your revision for implicit differentiation for core 4. Thanks for listening.